This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and we're going to do a quick comparison of the Motorola Droid on Verizon and the Google Nexus One made by HTC. This is currently an unlocked GSM phone that works best on T-Mobile in the US but there will be a Verizon version coming shortly. So these are both what you might call super phones, very high-end spec Android phones and figure you might want to know which one to buy or if it's worth waiting for this guy to come out on Verizon. The biggest difference is obviously the QWERTY keyboard on the Motorola. If you're one of those people who just can't live without a hardware keyboard, the Motorola Droid is the phone from you. For a QWERTY phone, the Droid is really skinny, but obviously it can't be as skinny as a phone like the Nexus One that has no moving parts, no keyboard. I'm trying to get the good angle for you. The Nexus One also runs a newer version of the Android operating system. This is 2.01 on the Droid versus 2.1 here. They're both Eclair by name, but this adds a couple of new features. It's got five home screens by default, and it's got some new widgets. Which we'll take a look at. Here you have the news and weather combined Google widget, for example. We've got the wireless widget over here, and again, five home screens worth. As you might notice, it's a little bit hard to tell through a video camera lens, this is more bright and vibrant than the Droid is because this has an AMOLED display. AMOLED displays are very color saturated and they make videos and photos look that much better. Next we'll take a look at the gallery application and some changes that have been done there. And we'll also take a look at that. That's your drawer now with a 3D effect. Instead of having to swipe up to pick through your applications, You've got the 3D effect. Just attach home here, press home here. So now we'll take a look at gallery. Go back to the main view. This is the old view, which actually was an improvement in itself in Android 2.0 and 2.01, but it's not the most exciting thing. Here we have something that has a lot more eye candy. You've got your photos separated here from your videos and the kind of more iPhone-y layout. So here if you want to check a video out, you tap on that, here, tap on that cluster, and they animate as you can see. Now we're going to test a very high bitrate video on both of these phones. This is an 853 by 360 pixel 2000K BPS MPEG-4. Video. In terms of frame rate, you can see they both can handle this very high resolution video well, but this screen is a lot more vivid and attractive for watching video. So they're both very capable though in terms of being able to play high resolution video. How about demanding 3D game playback? We'll take a look on both phones. We're going to test SpeedForge 3D. And here's the same game again, Speedforge 3D, now on the Nexus One. It loads quicker on the Nexus One. For whatever reason, it plays a little more smoothly. It's a little bit easier to control. But frame rates are about the same.
Now the Motorola Droid has a 600 megahertz ARM Cortex A8 CPU. That's a very advanced CPU, but this guy has a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon. So there's a slight advantage. Right now there really isn't a lot of software out there that's so demanding that you can say any one application runs much better than another. But when you have applications running concurrently, this guy does better, not just because of the faster CPU, but it has twice as much RAM. It has 512 megs of RAM, while this has 256. Again, unless you're running a lot of apps concurrently, you're probably not going to notice that. Web browser behavior is almost identical. This is 800 by 480 pixels, 3.7 inch. This is 854 by 480 pixels. So here are both browsers. You can see you get virtually the same view because the resolution is almost identical. This one's a little bit brighter and whiter. Both have an accelerometer. So you can switch to landscape view. Both scroll like that, and neither of them supports pinch zooming. If you are interested in a web browser that does support pinch zooming, there is the Dolphin web browser, which is free and it's available on the Android market for download. It's a little bit slower in our tests than the built-in browser, but we're sure that will improve. The last difference that we're going to show you in Android 2.1 versus 2.0 or 2.01 is Google has added voice control pervasively. That means any place you can bring up the, key the keyboard, you'll see this little microphone here, and you can speak whatever text you want to enter, which we don't have on the Verizon Moto Droid just yet. So that's the Nexus One versus the Motorola Droid. If you want a hardware keyboard, the Droid is obviously a very capable phone. The, the Nexus One may outdo it a bit in specs and display and an OS revision, but as you can see, the Droid holds its own pretty well.